Hello, this is a new setup for me, literally a new setup, because I've got a new ring light behind you, which my phone is mounted on, thank god I've got a new ring light, I, oh, it's so beautiful, I'll show you in my next video what I, what, what I got for Christmas, video coming up. I've got another ring light outside of me and then I've got a brand new mirror which again I got for Christmas but it's got fancy lights on it so I'm like I can finally finally do my YouTube videos in style today I am going to be doing a 2022 beauty favourites I've never done one of these videos before because I haven't got around to it before, but this, these are like my holy grail for this year, which I've loved the most this year, and things that are my rise and die, and I love. Let's get on with the video. If you're new here, and hi, welcome. My name's Lisa, I do beauty, fashion, and lifestyle videos. And I'm starting weekly vlogging again this year, so be prepared for that. And yeah, if you're not new, then hi, welcome back. Don't forget to give this video a like, give it, subscribe to my channel if you're new and if you're liking. And click the notification bell so you get a notification every time I upload. Without further ado, Let's just get started, shall we? Because there's a lot to get through. But I am doing an eyeshadow look today, which my eyes will not thank me for because I've got eczema and it's really bad this time around. But there we go, things to do for you guys. So, this is the eye base from Beauty Bay. And I just use this on my eyes to create a sticky base for the eyeshadow basically for the eyeshadow to stick onto by the way if you see me looking that way i've got my mirror there so just to help me more clearly this eyeshadow base actually prevents what well, doesn't prevent but it corrects redness and again as I said um has an even layer so the eyeshadow can stick to it and it can blend easier and so you get a perfect eyeshadow look. So I just use this to colour the redness on the eye because I said I've got eczema so it's gonna really take down that redness and literally look on that just don't mind the rest of the face but my eyes are not red they've got an even layer to them perfect perfect for eyeshadow to lay down i only just started filming my eyebrows this year and i don't really need to to be honest because my eyebrows are quite quite thick but lately they've not been as full as I'd like them. So I've recently only started using this powder. And I've had this powder for quite a while. <laughs> Everything I can down below. Some of these products I can't. Actually, it's actually one product. I can't. Because it is a 
Primark product. But my favourite, favourite product of the year. Or like setting spray. Spoiler alert, it's a Primark one. The one I usually use. Uh, I've run out of it. But I am getting some new makeup bits with my Christmas money. Is it's not really a well known brow gel, but it's one I had from the beauty box like a couple of years ago now. Yeah, it must be about a year and a half ago. Uh, so this is the Saint Lux Clear Brow Gel, and it's basically like a mini size. First, it's lasted me young. So what I do is brush my brow hairs up. So it's got like a laminated effect. And then again with the other brow. I've been meaning to try that unicorn uh cosmetics brow gel but I looked yesterday and it was sold out for a primer. I have been loving this primer all bloody year round. It's my ride or die. And um, you know what? I'm surprised because I've used this so much and it's only I've only used that much. Like primer lasts a long time. You think oh you need a lot but you don't so um I just realised I didn't say the product name. This is the NYX Honey Junior Primer and it's basically like this Samsung self-explanatory that is basically like this liquid sort of primer with gold flecks in but it's absolutely amazing on the skin like it makes my foundation so much easier on the skin. I know you're not meant to use the applicator. So it's on the skin, but it's my skin. So yeah, this product is absolutely so smooth on the skin, so gentle. And I actually love it. And it lasts a long time as well. As I just said. So I just used a little bit on the nose. So that's essentially where all my makeup comes off. So I just use a lot on the nose. And then, you see, in the forehead as well. into your skin and it just feels so smooth and so luxurious even next to drugstore primer look at that absolutely beautiful beauty is in the eye of the beholder though so I'm just rubbing that in just gently on the skin. So you don't want to be too harsh with the skin at all. And 
and on the skin as well it feels like really nice and tacky so the foundation sticks to the skin when you apply it but it doesn't make it go all clumpy or sort of clingy to the skin it just it's moving that's what it is so i'm very um abnormal today i don't know what is wrong with me but bear with me we will get through it um my next step is what i do is eyeshadow but i couldn't choose an eyeshadow palette like my favorite of the year because i've got so many so i chose two um this is essentially like my neutrals palette so this is the Soyuz X Revolution in extra spice and as you can see I've hit pan on a couple of shades so this has been like my everyday palette I've been using cookie dough in the crease cheesecake on the edges chocolate orange sometimes in the crease as well could just sort of transition shade and brownies or reputation with sort of liner so i've got that as a neutral option as a day-to-day -day option but i think what i'm gonna use i don't know because i've used used this one a lot lately but i used the Soph X Revolution at the beginning of the year. So this is the Nikki Tutorials uh, collaborate, collaborated with Beauty Bay like two years ago I think? 2020 I think it was, yeah. Because when this, fun story, when this palette released I was actually in the hospital with my daughter, so I was giving, not giving birth, I was literally um, induced, that's the word. Um, so I don't know, because I've used this at the end of the year, but I used the Soph palette at the beginning, so... I don't know and I just put eyeshadow at the bottom of my face so I am going to be using this palette which coincidentally I am going to be using project tampon as well so it's a perfect time to start using it <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is have a wash of this light brown shade light brown shade which is cookie dough just a low dull on the fluffy brush tap off the excess and just sort of like a base just to set that um bead bay base colour that we used at the beginning and this colour is just purely as a base colour just to set the tone for the rest of the eyeshadow look you know what you could use this shade on its own because it's absolutely absolutely gorgeous it's like um a cool brown shade and it's like if you want to wear like no makeup makeup you could wear this shade just on its own but i like to deep in the shade but just adding two layers to it and I'll just blend it out in a minute because I am going to be using a 
dark brown shade in cheesecake which is this one here and again it's absolutely stunning so i'm just gonna use it on the outer and in the crease just dabbing it and you can tell that it's made a beautiful almost like orangey like brown tone for the eyeshadow look and I'll tell you what it's really beautiful so i'm just gonna use a bit of that and again we'll blend it in a minute because i'm not gonna be perfect with my placement don't really need to be with this eyeshadow especially for a neutral eyeshadow look don't need to be perfect with it so this is more like blended eyeshadow so I'm just gonna take a little bit of cheesecake with cookie dough and just blend this one out a bit and again I'm just gonna blend it with like a fluffy brush maybe with cookie dough on it I did use a green earlier in the week so it might turn out green it might not who knows I'm just gonna blend that out like so it's sort of blown out and smoky almost but I think as well I'm gonna go for a bit of chocolate orange just at the bottom which is in the shade here I'm just going to go for that at the bottom of the just on the bottom waterline all these shades are all cohesive and it depends what colour eyes you've got a perfect for all eye shades or eye colours sorry so they've got something for the blues greens browns that looks stunning that's sort of the eyeshadow look I've been going for sort of especially in the earlier months of the year I've absolutely loved this eyeshadow look so back onto the base. Um, collection launched a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury filter finish, or like filter glue, or whatever, whatever it's called. I can't remember. Uh, so collection launched this earlier in the year, and it's a filter finish. Uh, it's a primer and illuminator, but I've never used it as a primer. I've just used it like as a glow. Um, I know Elf have got their version of this as well. I really want to try it, and Primark have got their version. So I think what I'll do in the new year is I'll try and get the Elf one and the Primark one and like compare the three. Mainly because that's what I like doing. I love comparing things, seeing if they work for my skin tone and my complexion. This one I love, I know I love because I've used, used it in the summer and it was 
chef's kiss is literally perfect. I had to buy it online in the end. Because I couldn't find it anywhere in my local super shop or anywhere. So I had to find it online. But tell you what, it was worth the wait. It's it's a glow from within so it's not a fake glow that you would get from normal sort of serums or moisturizers or primers so it's basically like a glow from within and i love it i've never had a product like it i've never had a product make me feel so much confident I, I love it and especially under like tinted moisturizers they're beautiful like I've used it with the ordinary serum foundations I've used it with like proper foundations not showing through as much in proper like full coverage foundations but I mean that doesn't bother me in the summer or even the winter to be honest because if you want a fake glow but an authentic glow it doesn't make you look like you've bit put a lid highlight out on your skin this is absolutely perfect stunning stunning shade and i think it has a ton of shades as well so go for it um go and try it i absolutely bloody love this stuff monte foundation i also saw this in the summer as well most of these, apart from like the cheap products I found in the summer, I actually love this. Love this. This is the Rimmel London Kind of Free Moisturising Skin Tint Foundation in the shade 10 Rose Ivory. This is, I don't think it's cruelty free, which is a shame. But I do love it. I love it so much. I don't want to run out of it because I don't want to not get it again. But if it's not quality free, it's not quality free, which is a shame. So I just put a lot in my hands, like one or two pumps. And I just get like a beauty blender. It's quite a squishy beauty blender, which I love. Like, I absolutely, absolutely love. And I just blend it out with my beauty blender, and it's absolutely stunning. There's an it's like medium coverage I'd say it goes up to but I quite like it when it's low coverage when you can sort of see your imperfections shining through but not so much that you're like oh, like I look disgusting it's like a uh, shine but I think the collection filter finish helps with that too because the shine from that makes you look stunning like actually stunning and the confidence I have from this combination I love I actually really love 
and foundation never makes me feel that way foundation always makes me feel ugh and disgusting and horrible and but just makes me feel beautiful and confident I know that sounds weird foundation making you confident but makeup works in mysterious ways like believe you me like I have a scar there you can't really see it like I'm always self confident self um what's the word self-conscious about that scar but you can hardly see it in this combination I I'm actually shocked so I'm not putting the foundation too high up on their eyebrows as it were because I've got my concealer to go there so once I finish blending that in I just take a brush, the same brush I used the collection on and just buff it because you don't want those streaky lines you want it to all look flawless and beautiful <laughs> so for next product I've got I, again I think this is another viral product on TikTok it's absolutely amazing I love it and so I always love them beauty favourites so this is the e.l.f. hydrating camo concealer you know what this has been a lifesaver like god knows how many like late nights i've had so this has been a lifesaver in all those months you know who's all of these years that i've been without this product i was like saying oh, i need like a really good like full coverage concealer without it being too drying or too matte and this has been absolutely perfect and by perfect I mean perfect like it's so hydrating without again it being too dry it's lovely and creamy it's not too thick it's not too thin it's just perfect i can't describe it i if i'll say it out of everything if you try something try this but try everything <laughs> it's absolutely amazing right these products are my ride or die like, I think out of everything like I've used concealer the most this year like if I've not used a foundation I've used concealer and this ultra finish and it's been perfect like they've been they've been like full coverage enough on their own and yes this doesn't get rid of the eye bags apparently you know what it's it's not gonna get rid of it permanently but it's a good Good product 
have, especially if you're a, a young mom or you just want something good and hydrating underneath his eyes. This is a perfect product. Perfect product for you to have. And I would not have it any other way. Now, Cream Bronzer has been a really new thing for me this year. I, I don't really use it that often. And I don't really want to use it because I thought oh, it's not going to work for me. It doesn't do anything for me. Just leave it alone. No, this product is absolutely amazing. But this one is so cool -tang and it's so natural. But you can tell it's on your face. So it's not like, oh, you haven't got anything on your face, there we go. It's absolutely beautiful. Like, it's an absolutely beautiful, cool toned shade. It's not too muddy on the skin it's not orange it's more like red toned if i'm honest which you know what it's kind of perfect and i absolutely love it it's not um pigmented it's not as pigmented as the hood beauty one but I did a review, uh, I think in the year, like beginning of the year, maybe it was like, I can't remember, but <laughs> it's like near, near the beginning I'd say, my top's fallen off, but I've used it ever since. Like the first time I tried it, I was like, "Oh, there's no pigment on it," and I was like, oh, "I wanna hate it." But working with it now, like, look at that! It's stunning. It gives me cheekbones. Um, I don't think I said what the product was again. I'm bad. And this product name and stuff. This is the XX Revolution uh, bronzer in Inspire. In the shade Inspire. And you know what? It has inspired me to use more my cream bronzers. I said I've got the Huda Beauty one and I've got a collection one which I absolutely love. But this one hit the boat for me because it's not too in your face and I know people like in your face bronzers but I really don't like I'm sorry but I love it not a lot of people love revolution at the moment so this is this is a new line that they did this year I think so this is Multi purpose creamy makeup stick, quick and easy to use. Just swipe onto face, lips, or eyes, and blend with fingertips or a beauty sponge. And this is the gorgeous glow, so it's the same range as this. And this is the gorgeous glow and blusher shade. I have got the contour and the highlight shade. I admit, I love the contour don't really like the highlights so much but I loved this in the summer because like, it's such beautiful sort of light pink but it's like a sort of a gel consistency almost it's sort of I'm like, so I'm getting another blusher. I'm obsessed with blusher recently. From Glossy. And apparently their blushes are amazing. And I used 
uh, sample pack of Posy. This is Posy. Well, it's not Posy, but it's a similar shade to Posy. And, and again, I want to sort of compare the two, see if they are similar at all. And if they're not, then uh, I've got two different shades or something. The only downfall is they only had one shade of everything, so not a really good shade range. For me, it was fine because I'm pale as a ghost, but for everyone else, not really the best uh, product, really. But there we go. So, this is the only high end beauty product that I've got in this uh, beauty favourite of 2022. This is the Laure, Laure, Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I tell you what, it's, it's expensive, but it's worth it. Absolutely bloody worth it. I love it. Like, and look how much you get for the money. It's like twenty eight pound or something. But look how much you get for the money. And you don't need to use a lot at all. It's very, very fine powder. It's very fine in the mold. It's beautiful on the skin. Like it's very smooth. It's actually beautiful so what i do for this powder so i got this powder puff from a revolution powder actually but i'm trying because this is all the rage now i'm using powder puff when my nan used to use one in the in the 70s or even like in the 60s or whatever so I'm like, how to put the always a thing, aren't they? Like, you're using them now, I've used them all my life. So, you know what, just getting ahead of the trend. But, you know what, I'm here for it. I don't believe in trends or whatever, but I've, I've been here most of my life, so... What I do is I take the powder and I put the excess powder on my hand so I don't get too much on my face and then I just dab it in. Don't swipe because you'll remove most of the product that's underneath and you remove most of your hard work. So what I do is I just again so get the excess on my hand and whatever's on my hand I will pick up again and then just go round what parts I want mat. So like on the top of my lip I always get really sweaty and I clear my might need to do something like that. So yeah, so just get that on the product and then I do underneath the my eyes just so the matte and concealer doesn't crease at all just get some on there there I'm making an utter mess here but you know what's worth it for makeup no just do the other eye 
this is the revolution bronze and glow this is a highlight and contour duo i just love contour i do love the highlight as well but i've got an even better highlight to show you so that to come so i'm just using a light sweeping of bronze like you can want too much well i don't anyway still want that blusher peeping through so just a light that one on the bronzer I just add some to the neck as well, just to give some definition. And then to the forehead as well. Perfect. Use the hair blusher time. This is like a throwback for many people, but I've never tried this or didn't try this until the summer again. It's always summer where I've learned all these products and I've loved them. So, this is the Life's a Peach blusher from L'Oreal. I love it. It's a perfect shade for me. Like, perfect. I just do a light dab in. Just a light one. And just over my nose as well, which I've been doing for the best. Goodness, how long? like a nature creature creature of habit now so yeah stunning beautiful we love her this is a real shame i think this came out a couple of years ago 2020 i think same year as Ergo Nikki. Such 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 a shame that it's discontinued. Uh this is the Ofra collab with Steph Toms. I love Steph Toms, like she is amazing, she's beautiful. Helen Anderson, Steph Toms and Soph does life. My three favourite beauty YouTubers. I love them. They're so down to earth. They're so beautiful. And oh my god. I just want. I just want. All their products. Like. They're so beautiful. I'm trying to open this. It's not working. There we go. So this is in the shade. Milk and cookies. Such a shame that this got discontinued. Look how beautiful it is. I think it's milk that's cookies. But I just swirl them both together because they're both, both beautiful as each other, if not the same. But oh my god, I, I miss this product. And this product I've been using for the past year. Yeah, so perfect, so silky, so smooth. Just look at it. Look at it. It's like skin. I might ask Steph if she can send me another one because I don't want to finish this product. I really don't. I look how stunning. Look. I, I can't. 
can't. I can't. I feel a lot upset now because I'm never gonna. I'm never gonna get this. Hopefully, in the future, she will. Steph will make another banging highlighter. A beautiful highlighter. And you can build this up as much as you want. Me, I want to look like a shiny disco ball. I must admit, like, past, like, couple months, I haven't worn highlighter. Enjoy because my partner said, oh, you look like him. You look shiny. You look too shiny. You look fake. I'm like, it's, it's meant to be, it's meant to look like shine, beautiful. Oh, I love this highlighter. Sorry, I am going to blend it out before the people come at me. Like, you just don't blend your highlighter enough. Yeah, I do. You just don't see me blend out the highlighter. Oh, it upsets me that we're not going to see this again. But, you know what? Good on you, Steph, for standing up for what you believe in and your rights and what have you. I still love you. Just send me all the highlights. Right, so freckles have been all the rage this year. All the rage. It's like literally don't know, no reason. Uh my favourite freckle thing to use. I have tried the pens, they don't work for me. So the spray is the best option. This is the L'Oreal Paris instant root concealer spray in brown last time i tried this and went all over my face i love this So yeah, this has been stunning. Best product, I think. Oh, itch my nose now. Great. Um, I'm just gonna curl my lashes. I think. Actually, no, what? No. Need a setting spray. So this is the Prep and Perfect Glow Setting Glow Setting Mist. From Primark, and this is four pound. Well worth four pound, in my opinion. Just shake it up, and you got the like glue particles. Before I do my mascara, I. I'm going back into the South X Revolution palette and just mixing the black shade reputation with brownies to make a sort of darker brown. I don't know why I said darker like that, but there we go. And I'm just gonna try and replicate it, okay? A brown sort of liner. It's not the perfect eyeliner match, but it'll do. That'll do, donkey. Right, so now is mascara time. You know what? It's not been a big year for mascaras for me. So this again, same viral. 
then last two of the this year, I can't remember, the Maybelline New York Lash, Lash Sensational Sky High Mascara. It's absolutely a beautiful mascara and I do love it out of the ones that I've got and I've tried. I don't know, I just, I have high expectations of the mascara, so I always end up disappointed, but um, I said I'm going to go Christmas shopping next week and find some new makeup bits that I want to try. Yeah, this is still like lengthening and it's giving me volume but I don't know it's the best out of my bunch for me but I still love it unless it's mascara mascara doesn't really bother me Pierce the Resistance the lip combination. I can tell, like, I haven't got a favourite lipstick at the moment because I've got a ton. I've literally got 30 or 40 lipsticks in my collection, but I've got a favourite lip combination, and I think you have seen it before, but. It's still, it's still my favourite lip combination, even to this day. So this is Sleek Twist Up Lip Pencil in Shabby Chic. This is like a few years old. It's the creamiest lip pencil I've ever tried. I've got a few in the Sleek. Uh, range and I love it. It's hard to talk when I'm doing lip liner. It's a Maybelline lipstick in 983 beige babe oh, it's the colour sensational one again i will link everything i can down below i use this mainly in the middle because this is slight pinky shade so you want that pinky shade to poke through but she's not, again looking more like Lily Savage every every step is my literal ride or die lipstick and for neutral days I, I just wear this or a lip oil I've loved a lip oil recently and again I didn't think Got a lip oil on this, but whatever. <laughs> um, so this is the last and finish by Kate it's Rimmel, and it's from J forty five. It's a gorgeous, like neutral shade, but so uh, stunning. I use that again in the center. And then the outer as well. My last step of my lip combination is this Pico Milano lip gloss in number three. This is a 3D Hydra lip gloss. It's stunning. Look how glossy that looks so. Do 
look. It's absolutely stunning, it is absolutely stunning. And that is my 2022 beauty favourites. A heck of a lot of favourites I cannot choose which is my favourite of the year. I honestly think it's this. These are my favourite things of the whole thing. Like, look how my skin looks. Looks beautiful, stunning, Mwah. chest kiss, everything. I love it all. And yeah, that's my 2022 favourite of this year. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you didn't mind my uh, greasy hair. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a like if you like it. Comment down below anything you want, really. Subscribe if you're new. Subscribe if you're liking. And I will see you. Bye, guys.